full grown buck, heading for the stream. Well, I think you're right on both counts, son. That's good reading. You follow his tracks, I'll cross over the stream and head him off. Okay, Pop. Scared everything for miles around. Where's the captain? What captain? We don't know anything about your captain. Let us go. You were following us. That was a deer's track we were following. Must be what your pit's for. Lungi, some shy. Ah. Why don't you let us help you? Help us? Help us? 
I didn't do that. Because the men of your color. Do you answer for all men of your color? I answer for my people. The child is not your concern. A child is a child. You do not believe this. You say it only to save your life. To you, we are cattle. That's not true. Yes, it is true. I know the thoughts of the white man. If I known them sooner, it would not be as you see us. How did you happen to end up here? These are all that remain of my people. Once a village of hundreds. These live on the promises I make them. Home and freedom, as I live on my anger. We were many, many brave hunters, many fruitful women, living in peace. And then we began to hear of whites with chains and guns, of their greed for black flesh, flesh to be whipped and chained and driven onto great ships in weeping herds. We fought well and killed many, but we were taken and chained. And all through the long nights, I whispered to them, Harambi, freedom. When they marched us to the great water, when we sailed chained to the stinking decks of the slave ship, I whispered to them, Harambi, live, we will be free. I promise you, I, Kamba, promise you. We came at last to a great city, New Orleans, we smashed the chains that tied us on the deck, stole a boat and came up the great river. But the captain followed us. We walked across the land, toward the morning sun, toward home. For 30 days we walked. 10 died, and 10 remain. Mbo, Mbo pen, lapis lashi. Mbo pen, never, kuna manj. Mbo. Yebo. And we will walk until I've taken my people home as I promised them, and nothing will stop us. Not the feet of our children, but we'll carry them on our backs. Not the fear of the white man. Oh, no, for we'll slip through their fingers like black shadows. Not hunger, not pain, not chains, not guns, not the strange creatures of this strange land. For we're free people, and we'll return to our home and be free. You won't even be able to keep them alive, not without help. And you, of course, will help us. Why should I trust you? You have no choice. You keep on heading east, you'll come into the cities, where they'll put you in chains again and sell you. White men, like you? Almost any white man you see. But you're different. You want to help us. Yes, I am different. Just as all men are different from each other. Just as you're different from Africans who sell their own brothers to the slavers. You know as well as I can, good and bad, has nothing to do with color. Why should you help us? Since you're not likely to accept any other reason, just let us say that we want to help you in exchange for our lives. You need food, medicine, tools to remove those chains. We can get them for you. We have supplies cash near here where we keep our traps. Bosa, Mkulud, Musik in Dam, Musik. Mulalo. Musik in Dam, Bo. What about my son? I do not trust you. But you're right. I need help. And you will help me. Not because you're different, but this one stays, to make certain that you do not come back with other whites. How do you know I won't anyway? Because I've seen your eyes when you look at your son. Because I believe that you value him. I have your word he won't be harmed? Not if you bring food, medicine, and tools to cut our chains. And come along. Come on, 
You mean I'm supposed to travel without a weapon? This is a rungu, a good weapon. And return here by nightfall. I don't know. You don't know? Captain, this ain't magic. You follow a track, the track stops. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, what did I hire you for? You're supposed to be an expert tracker. Deer, puma, bear. They're smart, but they ain't this smart. Smart? They're ignorant savages. Begging your pardon, Captain? They may be savages, but they ain't ignorant. They're smart enough to stick to the stream when they catch when they're being followed. That blasted Meacham, I'll have you keel hauled. You tell me you lost them. No, we'll just follow the stream and find where they got out. We'll find them. Your sensible savages don't like the water that well. <laughs> sensible savages. A few touches of the lash, we'll see how much sensible they are. Be this is them. Yeah. Yeah. See any trucks over there? Yeah, heading this way. We found them. Found somebody. We'll see. Somebody's coming. Everybody spread out. Keep quiet. Sorry I jumped out on you like that. I thought you were somebody else. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. Who is this man, Mason? The name's Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Say, I heard tell you all the way down to Louisiana. My name's Jack Meacham. This is Daniel Boone. Yep, now here's a wife, the good ship, Connecticut. My pleasure, Boone. Glad to know you, uh -huh. Captain. No, you'll excuse me, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I take it this is your territory. Perhaps you've seen some of my cargo. Cargo? In the middle of Kentucky? <laughs> That's pretty good. This damnable cargo has legs, Boone. Ten thousand dollars worth of African slaves. Prime stock for the market in New Orleans. Escape my ship. You help me find them, I'll pay you well for it. Sorry, but it's not in my line. You uh, generally carry this kind of a weapon, Boone. You think I owe you some kind of explanation? No, 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 my boy. Just friendly interest. I figured maybe, you know, if you would run into some kind of trouble, it'd be useful for us to know about it. I appreciate your concern, but I am in a hurry. Boone, I'm a hard man, Boone. A good captain. Took me 20 years to get my own ship. I don't intend to lose it now. If I lose that stock, I lose my ship. Now, this weapon you're carrying is definitely African, a Rangu. Now, where are them slaves? I told you it's not in my line. This is a bill of sale, Boone. But them blacks for property. My property. Now, why don't you? I'm sorry, I can't help you. I told you I'm in a hurry. Boone, you know it's against the law to aid fugitive slaves? 
We don't have much call for it out here. It's against the law of your country, even out here. Don't you stand on the laws of your country. I'm standing right in the middle of my country, waiting for you to let me pass. <laughs> blocking my way, Captain. My humblest apologies, Mr. Boone. But uh, this weapon you're carrying is undoubtedly African. Fashioned somewhere between here and the Mississippi River by my property. What do you use it for? You're going to have to answer me, Boone. Where did you get it? About five miles upstream. I found it. Does that answer your question? Oh, very nicely, and thank you, Mr. Boone. Now, if you'd just be kind enough to lead us there. I don't know about these others, Meacham, but you look like a man who wouldn't have any trouble finding his way five miles upstream without help. Our Mr. Meacham's top hand at chasing wild geese. But we're after more important things now, Boone. Shall we stop playing games? Now, wait a minute, Captain. You hired us to track a passel of slaves, not fool around with Daniel Boone. We're not going to fool around with the great Boone, Meacham, at all. He's just going to guide us to where the slaves are. Aren't you, Boone? <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. Well, I'm glad to see you're being reasonable about this, Daniel. You know, I never figured a man of your reputation would stick his neck out for a bunch of them soulless black savages. It's been proven that they have no souls, of course. Oh, yes, established scientifically beyond a shadow of a doubt. You should see the way they live over there, Daniel. Oh, bloody savages. We bring them here, you know, and give them a roof over their heads, some honest work to do, food to drink, and some. Good Christian learning, and it's the best thing in the world from Daniel. Believe me, the best thing in the world. Well, it's amazing they don't pay you for the privilege. Ah. Get him out. Drop your guns or I'll blow his brains out. Yes, stand right where you are. You're not going to kill me, Boone. You make it mighty tipped in, Captain. Now tell your men to put the guns down. I said stand fast. You're taking orders from me. You chess player, Boone. Ah, because this looks like checkmate to me. I can kill you, Captain, if I have to. <laughs> That's no point, Daniel. Don't you see? You need me alive. I need you alive. You kill me. My men will feel free to kill you. And then if I kill you, then I don't get what I came after, do I? Huh? Solid. <laughs> it does look like checkmate, doesn't it, Daniel? Ah, oh, sure. Say sure, you're free to leave, Boone. But there ain't nothing's going to stop me from following you, now is there? Huh? Yes. Looks to me like checkmate, doesn't it to you? I spent over 20 years at sea, Boone. Man gets the chance to do a lot of thinking. Thinks about a lot of things. What makes men do some of the things they do? And I've, you know, been thinking about you. What are you, one of them bleeding hearts? Now, you look like a God-fearing man, Boone. 
I'm sure you must have read the good book. It's all in there. The sons of Ham were born in bondage. They shall live by the sweat of their brows. Pamba's supposed to be a slave. And you're supposed to be a slaver. And you're supposed to traffic in human misery. That the way you read it? That's the way I read it. Thinking about maybe trying to escape when it gets dark, huh? Ah, you better put that thought right out of your head, Boone. Because if we don't get to Compass Camp by nightfall, well, then we'll just throw a couple of, uh, you know, half hitches and a bowl and a two around you, make it nice and snug till morning, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Donald. You hungry? My pa, we'll be here soon with food. You and your people, you can live here. It's good land. There's plenty of game if you know where to hunt. Perhaps, but this is not our home. It's growing late. He'll be here soon. I hope so. And I hope you will not be foolish enough to come without the white man. He gave you his word. He won't go back on his word. We shall see. Dean it up. Dean. Thank you, Lord, for helping me recover my property. Don't be out of the Where are the rest of them? Speak to me, you. the impudence. I'll be lucky if I break even on this deal. Where do you think you're going, Boone? Isn't that what you came for, Webb? No, no, not quite, I didn't. Not till we get the rest of them back where they belong. And I'll be after broken. No interference from you, Boone, on that case. 
Get that chain. Put it on Boone here. Sorry, Boone, I don't like to do that. Believe me, I don't. Bad discipline for blacks to see a white man in chains. But I can't risk you running out on me. You might be making a mistake, Captain. You and your men may slip through, but I saw plenty of Shawnee sign on the trail. That's ah, a pretty feeble try, Boone. How about it, Mitchum? Did you see any Shawnee sign? Shawnee signs? You're bluffing, Boone. This is Cherokee country. There ain't no Shawnees this far south. Yeah, not usually. But game is running low in their part of the country. There's Shawnee hunting parties all over this area. How about it? Do you men know Shawnee sign when you see it? Maybe they don't, but I do. I lay off them, Boone. Did you hear that, Meacham? You better keep your eyes open. Did you hear that? Hear what? That bird. Huh? A bird? What are you talking about? All right, let's get out of here. Indian beads. Could be Shawnee, could be Cherokee. All right. Well? Shawnee. You can't be for sure. You said you knew Shawnee's son. Now, what is it? He says it's Shawnee. Do you believe him? Yeah, not really. But I figure Boone likes his scalp as well as the next man. What do you want to, Boone? Come here, Major. Listen, Meacham, we don't like this. You shut! Steady, lads. Now, steady as he goes. Can't you see he's only trying to panic you? And you're going right along with him. Now, come on, let's get this line moving. How do you know there ain't no Shawnee out there? Well, if there is, you'll take care of them. Help me get my stock back where it belongs. That's what you're being paid for, ain't it? Come on, take it. You ain't paying us all that much, Meacham. 
Anyway, them slaves are slowing us up. Right I say, on. let's get out of here. Nah, let's stick around for a while. You keep your eyes open. One step, then another, and along. Easy, Dick. Easy now, lad. See a Shawnee scalping knife? One swipe and your hair's going right down to your eyebrows. <laughs> That's blonde, eh, Boone? Chop, chop! Come on! Look! Huh? Harambe. Harambe. Hey! 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 Something, Meacham? No. I didn't hear nothing. Did you? Yeah, I thought so. Control, Meacham, control. I'm as nervous as a mother hen with a flag of new chicks. Right here a bit longer. Now you listen to me about your lily levered swabs. I'll pay you. I know what you're paying us for, but I don't know for sure what's out there. Oh, no, Bills! You're shooting at a bunch of shadows. Now you'll all obey my orders. Oh, so help me, I'll take the cat and nine chance to you. Major. Major. All right, Bone. You can shoot. But can you reload? It's what do you call it, Webb? A checkmate? What do you want? Those pistols. Hand me the keys. Harambe. Harambe. Prepare my men for battle. Where are Stay here. Sir. Where are you going? I don't want the Shawnee to get the captain anymore than I want him to get you. If you save him, I will kill him myself.
that all white men are not bad. Huh? Perhaps even he is not all bad. But he no longer concerns me. I'll give him to you. I think you owe him something. Oh, what? You're a miserable money-grubbing liar. Huh? Gamba, you see this? Says he owns you. You look here, Bond. The laws of this. You country. want to talk to him about his country's laws? Harambe! Say, Chisa, we will not. We got his column there. Yeah, Cha. So this pin and Gogo must go out of the blue. Harambe. Harambe. There's a Harambe in Gogo. No, I'm bad. Now I'll take my people home. You'll never make it, Combo. If you continue east toward the morning sun, you'll just be captured again. But there is land beyond Cherokee country. You and your people can make your homes there. What would we find there? Good land, game for your hunters. And this Cherokee, they will welcome us. Even if we're, we're different from them. The Cherokee judge a man by what he does, by what he is. And you'll live in freedom? Yes. You are sure no white man will come? And will remain in peace? I can't promise you that, Kamba. No man can. But you'll have as good a chance as anybody else. Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> Your son will be a great warrior. I will see you again. We'll see you again. You're blasted well right you'll see him again. And by the great horn spoon, I'll see you again, King Kamba. I doubt that, Webb. Without me, you can't even find your way back to Fort Boonesboro. Good luck. Stay well. You wasted your time, Bone. I'll find them. I'll get them back. Go ahead. Sala. Sala. Oh, but, but Daniel, I could die out here if, if them heathen redskins don't get me first. I can't argue about that. But you can't let that happen, Boone. What do you think, son? Well, you saved his life once. Seems a waste to leave him here now. All right, in that case, get in. All right. 
right, Captain? You can start paddling. 